Assassin's Creed might be the biggest disappointment on this list because we love that game. Oh, I forgot to mention that. We loved playing that. Assassin's yeah. Creed we played is like so four of them, five fun. Of them maybe. It's yeah. so good. And that movie just was such a letdown. I was so excited when it was getting made. It was like a $90 million budget. Michael Fassbender as the lead. Perfect casting. He's on as a producer. And then the whole entire movie. And also movie... Justin Kurtzel, the director, he directed that really cool Macbeth that Fassbender started. That's right. I, was, I saw that Macbeth and I was like, this is so visually striking and fascinating. Like, what a cool Shakespearean adaptation. And then Fassbender loved working with him so much that he tapped him to direct Assassin's Creed. So I was like, wow, what a great pairing. I can't wait to see what they do. I thought it was going to be a no-brainer hit. I thought it was going to be a great movie. It was so such a letdown. I don't know how you don't start that movie. Again, they had to go the origin why, story Why route. is he doing a mission? How does it not open up with him on a mission? Jumping oh from, the, from a crow's nest or jumping from a church into a, a barrel of sand or, or a, a oh barn of sand. A thing of sand and assassinating somebody. How do you not open the movie like that and have him already be an assassin and then come out of the come out of the dream sequences and go back into it? Uh, the whole thing just ended up being a slow, drag, logging, grim origin yeah. story, and it's just it was such a letdown because there's so much potential there. It's such a cool story and concept for a video game. If you haven't played it. You play a contemporary person who can actually go back into the minds of their ancestors who were assassins, part of this assassin clan, and basically you go on the mission. You're basically doing the missions from that period, and they can go all over the world with the different video games, and they they do different cultures. Different you're altering time the periods. course of time. It's really yeah, interesting. It's such a fascinating concept for a video game. Like the pirates one was so fun. You're like a pirate in, in the Caribbean. I was like, this is crazy. And then the one where you're in Boston. Yeah, in the yeah. Colonial days. Yeah, that went. Lauren Balfe did the music for that. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Three. Yeah, yeah. I love that one, but. For some reason, like the origin storyline has become such a hot commodity since really Batman Begins that it kind of ruins a lot of ca a lot of stories. Like this story, Assassin's Creed, if they had done the Indiana Jones route, the Tomb Raider one route, and you start with you establish the character, a ten minute cool opening action sequence, Fastbender is an assassin. He goes back in time, does some crazy thing, comes back. And then we learn what's going on, and then the major conflict starts. That's the better structure for a story like this. But instead, he's not the, hes not really the assassin until the last 30 minutes of the movie. And it was like, before that, it was just a slog to get there. And I was, I was watching it in theaters like, I can't believe this is happening. I think that a lot of studios, when they're adapting a video game into a movie... That in their mind, obviously, they're thinking franchise. We're like, this is going to be the first movie, but we're already planning the title for the se for the sequel and the third yeah. one. This is what they're going to be called. And these are going to be the outlines of the stories. The first one, we're going to start with this great origin story. We're going to watch our character become the assassin yeah. at the end of the film. Yeah. The third act, it's really going to pay off. But they're going to start off the shell of a man, a shell of a woman, <laughs> just, just becoming that person, going through so much. And... They're not even focused on making a great first film. And I think they're they're in their minds, they're just going, we can depend on it making money because, you know, Assassin's Creed, it sold 40 million copies worldwide, whatever the number is. I'm sure it's in the tens yeah, of millions. Hit, yeah. The entire franchise up until they made that movie, I'm sure it's 50 million sales oh, probably yeah. for every console combined. And they're, they're 60 bucks each. <laughs> and you know, but in terms of sales, they're probably thinking... If we get half of those people into the audience, that's 25 minutes tick, 25 million tickets sold. That is a hundred over a hundred million dollars at the box office. So that's two hundred million dollars we can count on. They're gonna go to the, the theaters and see this movie. We don't even have to worry about like making a great first movie. We should just think, be thinking about franchising. Like yeah. how many movies can, how many can we get out of this? That's what we should be focused they're, on. They're already milking it before the first film is even done. Exactly. Yeah. But I think they think they can depend on the fan base coming out to the movie just because they played the video game. Yeah. And it doesn't work like that. You got to make a, a good movie first because word of mouth, I don't care what your movie is, unless it's a Star Wars movie or, or a Marvel movie, word of mouth is still so important for the culture, for the movie going audience. Even for people who have played a video game and love the video game, it's not the same thing as they're de they they they're depend I mean Marvel's dependable. You know what you're going to get when you go yeah. get, see a Marvel yeah. movie. That's why they have such huge opening weekends because the diehard Marvel fans, the movie lovers, they're like, "I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to go to the Marvel movie this weekend. I'm going to have a good time. I know that for a fact." Getting my money's worth. They've done it 18 times in a row versus 30 <laughs> yeah, 30 <laughs> times in a row versus Assassin's Creed and these other studio and these other projects and the studios running these movies, they think they can depend on the gamers to go 
into the box office to go sit down in the theater and watch their movie when they maybe don't understand gamers quite as well as they thought they did. Well, yeah, gamers, I would say they prefer playing games than going to see movies. They probably more yeah. likely will watch it streaming versus going to theaters. Oh, I would say 50% yeah. of them probably. Absolutely.